pals. What are you up to? I'm here talking to my friends from the show. They're the best. We've hung out in my attic, learning about a legacy album. You should see my mom when she was little. We got to talk to a friend of ours from Puerto Rico. And I found my dad's tool belt, which led to another adventure. So what are you up to? What are you wearing? I'm living my best superhero life as the coolest superhero in the whole wide world. Who? Iron Man, of course. Iron Man over Spider-Man? Iron Man over the Hulk? Um, yeah, Iron Man can do pretty much anything. I don't know, Chip. He's just a normal guy. I guess you're right. Hey, friends, what do you think? Do you think Spider-Man is the bestest superhero? Oh, Chip, what about Superman? What about him? His name has super in it. He's super strong, he can fly, he has x-ray vision. But he loses all his powers whenever there's kryptonite. True story. Well, there's got to be a superhero with the coolest powers ever. You know what? I bet we can find the answer to that in the Bible. Hey, that's a fantastic idea, Chip. Want to listen to today's Bible story with us? You know it! It's time for our Bible story. Today's Bible story is from Acts chapter 2. This was during the time after Jesus' greatest miracle, the time when he came back from death to life to be with everyone again. Jesus appeared to his friends in person multiple times. He told them to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who would be all they needed to spread the good news of what Jesus had done. So they stayed together and they waited. Waiting is tough, isn't it? But they waited and waited. They had the greatest news ever to share and they had to wait to share it. That's like having the best present of all and having to wait until Christmas to open it. But then it happened. A sound like a rush of wind and what looked like tongues made of fire rested on them. They felt it. The Holy Spirit had come. And the Spirit did something wild. The Holy Spirit made it so they could speak and understand other languages. People gathered together from all over the place. And because of the Holy Spirit, they heard the good news of Jesus in their own language. And they could share the good news with each other. Some people thought that these people speaking other languages must be out of their minds. But Peter, one of the original followers of Jesus, set everyone straight. He explained that this was God's plan. He even used some ancient words from a guy from the Bible named Joel. Joel had spoken about this very moment years and years before it would take place. It was all a part of God's plan to send the Holy Spirit. Pretty cool, huh? The coolest thing was this. Because of the power that the Holy Spirit gave them that day, one thing became very clear beyond any doubt. This gift is not meant just for a few people. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. The Holy Spirit did such an amazing job giving everyone a chance to hear and share the story about God's love equally. That's the best superpower ever. It really is. And today's Bible story showed us that anyone can have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is for my mom. The Holy Spirit is for our friends in Puerto Rico. The Holy Spirit is for everyone who needed help after a storm. The Holy Spirit is for my friends at school. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. What a legacy! Do you know what the word legacy means, Chip? Isn't that some kind of toy? Chip, I think you're thinking of Lego City. <laughs> is something you hand down from one person to the next. Oh, cool. Wait, I don't get it. It could be anything? Yeah, but usually there are good things, like something precious or valuable in your family. Sometimes it's things that make you a better person, like kindness and love. Okay, so when you say the Holy Spirit is a legacy, you're saying the Holy Spirit has been given to all of us by God? That's exactly right, buddy. Wanna play superheroes now? Absolutely. Hey, Chip, have you ever met a superhero with the Holy Spirit? Hmm, I don't think so. Well, you have now. It's me. Whee! Whee! The Holy Spirit is for everyone.
one. Did you hear that? The Holy Spirit is for you and you and you and you. See you next time, buddy.